Well, good afternoon, all. I would like to recognize and again thank Foreign Secretary Vivian Ray and Interior Minister Osorio for co hosting uh, the conference, uh, today's events, as well as tomorrow's. This conference is a direct result of conversations between Secretary Kelly and myself when we made our visit to Mexico City in February and, and the idea of how to strengthen regional security and economic development was discussed uh, with our counterparts and it was agreed that uh, hosting this event together uh, and assembling the various countries in the region would advance our interest as well. And so again, I want to thank them for that. Uh, we also, of course, had Vice President Pence in attendance today. Uh, and I think he clearly reaffirmed the Trump administration's commitment to working with our partners in Central America. In addition to my meetings with senior leaders from the region, the Vice President and I also participated in constructive bilateral meetings with the Honduran President, Hernandez, Guatemala's President Morales, and El Salvador's Vice President Ortiz. Uh, these conversations amongst all of us today, I think, again, reinforce that security in Central America is not only essential to the region's stability, but it really is foundational to creating economic prosperity in the region, which will translate also, though, to economic prosperity for Americans as well. Without effective security arrangements in place, it is very difficult to create stability and the conditions that are conducive to investment and business activity. Specifically, this administration's top security priority in the Western Hemisphere is stopping transnational criminal organizations from harming American communities through the drug trade and its attendant violence. We recognize that as the world's top source of demand for illegal drugs, our own country must improve its efforts to reduce drug consumption, which is the lifeblood of these gangs. As we address our side of the problem, <clears throat> we call on all our neighbors in the Americas to reject intimidation, strengthen human rights, and increase the fight against criminal organizations within their own borders. In our meeting earlier today, President Hernandez informed Vice President Pence of his decision to elevate the portfolio of human rights from a vice ministry to full ministerial status. The Honduran government has already allocated resources for the new ministry's operation with the intention of further strengthening the institutional framework for the promotion of human rights, the human rights defenders protection systems and communications and collaboration between the government and civil society. This very important step is to be commended as it demonstrates the Honduran government's commitment to protecting and advancing our shared human rights values and enabling the work of vulnerable human rights defenders. We hope others will follow Honduras's example. We also had many productive conversations with public and private sector leaders from across the region and obviously from the United States on growing prosperity in Central America. Many American companies have substantial interest already and are expanding their operations in Central America. And that interest is reciprocal for Central American leaders who want to improve economic conditions for the, and the lives of their people. Central American economies are fueled by private sector involvement. That will provide a more, more legal opportunities for growth. We need to create the conditions to allow people to join the formal economy in corruption and make sure people do not turn to illegal migration or illegal activities in order to make ends meet and simply feed their families. More private sector investment will accelerate progress on these goals. In Central America, a surge in the growth of urban population is imminent, and we hope governments and the private sector will work together to improve needed public work in public works infrastructure and also to see this as an emerging opportunity. With GDP growth so closely linked to internet accessibility, we also hope private and public sector partnerships will deliver improved internet connectivity. A larger, more competitive energy market will also drive prosperity in Central America, and that was a subject of our discussions today also. All of these measures are important steps in generating prosperity for Americans as well. 
The more American companies we have doing business in Central America, the more jobs we create at home. Our policies in the Americas are prioritizing the well-being of American workers. The United States is quite proud of the progress we've made today, again, uh, in partnership with our co-host Mexico, and I look forward to Secretary Kelly continuing uh, these conversations and discussions tomorrow on the topic of security. Thank you.